So men are often business mentors, business men are often looking to use the women in their organizations, the women in their lives. It could be wives, it could be daughters, it could be girlfriends to facilitate things the man wants from other men. But if it can be like, oh, I was talking to one of the girls, I was talking to one of the people I mentor, one of my mentees. She reminded me that you've got a fleet of planes and I need to get to LA tonight. Bro, we're besties. Think you can hook that up? That is 100% doable for that man versus, hey, listen, Joe, I need a, um, like, I need a favor. Like I gotta get to LA tomorrow and um, you've got planes, right? Oh no, that puts a man in a, in a vulnerable position. They're not comfortable with that. But if it can be like, oh, my mentee reminded me that you own a fleet. And she was saying like, why don't I just ask you? And I thought, why don't I just ask you? Because you're my bro. That puts him in a superior peer position to that other man. Even if all they do is use, oh, you know, the VP, you know, uh, the woman, she reminded me that we should both be on the panel together. You mind talking to the organizers and getting me on the, on the, on the dais with you? They're phenomenally comfortable with that rather than saying, hey, I'm a, I'm a subject matter expert about that. I'd like to be on the panel too. No, they don't ever want to be seen in a position of weakness, in a position of need. So they use us for that. And it's incredibly um, insidious. That is the word. It's incredibly insidious. 